Previously on Dancing with the Shadows. I'm... pregnant. I knew it. What? <laughs> this is the best day ever! Not only have I turned six, but I get the best birthday surprise of all time! Aunt Twilight doesn't want any pony else to know. But why? She just doesn't. Whoever the lucky pony is, is very lucky to- That's just it. He isn't a pony. Oh, it's... Oh. It's... Discord. <laughs> Celestia, are you okay? <clears throat> I... I'm fine. I've just never considered Discord to be the one to settle down or start a family, for that matter. Daddy, I promised Aunt Twilight and Mommy I would keep it a secret. And you can't break a pinky promise. Fine. My own daughter won't tell me? Then I'll just get my information some other way. Shining armor? What are you doing here? Do you think you could... Hold up a disguise for at least a few days. You have my word, Princess. I'm sure Twilight wouldn't mind if I'd return to normal for a little bit. Besides, it's late. I'm sure no pony is bound to be awake at this hour. <laughs> oh, shit. What do you think you're doing here, Discord? How could you fall in love with some pony like him? Do you have any idea what he's done to you and your friends? What he's done to Equestria in the past? I do know, and unlike you, I can look past some pony who's done me wrong. Wait, are you... Twilight didn't tell you? You could have at least been a little bit excited for me? You could have told me, Twilight. No, I couldn't have, because I knew you would act like this! Were you really here for a visit to see me? I came to see why you were acting so funny here recently, but now I see the answer is very crystal clear. Every pony's been supportive, except you! You're such a hypocrite! Twilight, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I heard about what happened last night. I can't believe Shining said that to you. Yeah, well, I can't believe what I said to Shining. I mean, we never had a single fight when we were kids. Sure, we had a few disagreements here and there, but nothing like this. If you ask me, Shining Armor has a right to be upset with you. I mean, you kept this from him for almost eight months. Whose side are you on? N no one's. It's just... Don't you think he deserved to know sooner? Yeah, but he would have still flipped out. <sighs> Maybe if you would have told him sooner, it wouldn't have been as bad as it is now. Maybe you're right. Where are you going? Shining? Look, I know you're mad at me. I didn't mean to say what I said. You are my rock when I need you. I know I should have told you sooner. But I was so scared of what you might think. That you might have turned away from me. Or disowned me. Maybe if I told you sooner, it wouldn't have to lead to all this. I just want to say that I'm sorry, and I hope that you could find it in your heart to forgive me. Okay, 
Something is off. He must have left last night. I mean, who would blame him, though? I acted like a complete jerk. Twily, I went back to the Crystal Empire. I'll be back on Friday. Just got a lot on my mind right now. XOXO, shiny armor. Great. I didn't even get a chance to apologize, and he's already gone. So much for having a close sibling bond with him. Twilight? I'm here, Tempest! Oh, good. I found you. What seems to be the problem? Starlight did another one of those complex spells that she seems to always have trouble undoing. Ugh. I told that mare time and time again that magic is never the answer to solving your problems. But does she listen? No! Seems to me she will never learn that. Okay. Where is she? She's in the library. At least, that's where I last saw her. And left her. Mm! Your Highness, are you okay? Yeah, Tempest. I'm fine. Now, let's go find Starlight. So I can reverse whatever spell she did this time. Starlight, you better not be- Surprise! <laughs> I thought you said Starlight was using dangerous, complex magic. Tempest, what is all this? It's your baby shower, duh! Hey, <laughs> if you ask me, it was all Starlight and your friends' ideas. I only take orders from you other than the wielders of the Elements of Harmony, of course. But how did you know what I was having? Uh, pinky sense. <laughs> Sunset, you came! <laughs> of course I did. Auntie Twilight! You must be Flurryheart, Twilight's niece. She has told me so much about you. Uh-huh, but she has told me nothing about you. Who are you, exactly? Flurryheart! Mind your manners! No, Twilight, it's okay. Well, if you must know, my name is Sunset Shimmer. Your aunt was the one who helped me become the pony I am today. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you, Miss Shimmer. Sorry about the rude encounterment. It's okay, sweetie. Trust me, I was getting dirty looks the past two years where I come from. Well, three and a half if you count what happened the last time I was there. Where are you from, exactly? Well, I'm actually from the other world- She's from Manhattan! Uh, Flurry, could you excuse Miss Shimmer and I for just a moment? I need to show her where the gift table is. But I didn't bring you anything, Twilight. Yes, of course you did! Now come on, I'll show you where you can set your gift down. Uh, Twilight? Why didn't you just tell your niece that I was from the other world? I would have, but Flurry is really too young to understand. Plus, she's a rather curious filly. I mean... What if she decides to cross over to the other world? I highly doubt that would happen, Twilight. But it could. You just never know, Sunset. <laughs> okay, okay, you have a fair point. Whoa, you definitely have a lot of gifts to open. <laughs> I try to think that those gifts are for the baby and not for me. But hey, I'm the mother, so technically half of those gifts are, might as well be mine. <laughs> <laughs> While I don't approve of how you went about this... I, I'll leave you two alone. If you need me, you know where to find me. In my own opinion, you should have waited until marriage, like Cadence and I did before we had Flurry Heart. I have to be frank with you. I realize now that not every pony follows the same path as they should. Every pony's journey is different. Especially with this generation. I should have just been happy for you, 
hurt me to know that you went about this in a totally unplanned way. And we all know you love making lists and planning out everything to the last detail. <laughs> it was unfair of me to lash out at you like that. I should have respected and supported you instead of judging you. And I'm sorry. I guess I still have a smidge of that big brother protectiveness role that I feel like I still need to play in your life. Even if you are all grown up now, I will always see you as my baby sister. No, you had every right to be upset with me. I should not have kept something like this a secret from you. Besides, you shared the news with me and my friends when you found out you and Cadence were expecting Flurry Heart, and I was over Luna's Moon excited for you two. Sadly, I couldn't do the same in return by telling you because I know how protective you are of me. But you've got to let me have room to make my own mistakes, and try not to protect me for every little one that I make. No pony is flawless, nor perfect, and like I said, every pony has a different path to follow. However, Shining, you're my baby BFF. That will never change. Sure, we both said things that we didn't mean, but that doesn't mean that we stopped caring for each other. So, I'm really gonna be an uncle. <laughs> Next to Spike, of course. But don't you two go competing for the best uncle ever title. <laughs> you mean how he also won the title of Sibling Supreme three years ago between the both of us? Yeah, I don't think I want to compete with him for this title. Especially since we both have a fair share of unconditional love for our kiddos. Those were the good old days. And with Luna's help, no less. You just got lucky. Should I question your strange pony traditions by this point? Spike, Ember, Kunzite, you came! Of course we did. And congratulations, Twilight. Thank you. Dad! What does the title Sibling Supreme mean? <laughs> Come, son. Walk with me and I'll tell you the story of how I won the title of Sibling Supreme from both your Uncle Shining and Aunt Twilight. Better find those two before Kunzite thinks he'll be able to play that game with the other dragons back in the Dragonlands. Twilight, are you okay? I'm fine, Shining. Really. It's just Braxenix is all. I thought you went home early, though. You left a note and everything. I did go home, but not to throw in the towel. Just to do some thinking about this whole situation. Until almost a week later, Pinky and Applejack happened to come by the Crystal Empire and needed my help with playing the celebration for you. And she's the ultimate party planner. <laughs> However, those two can be very convincing when it comes to helping out one of their friends. <laughs> What's so funny? You had a conversation with a door. Come here, you. I'm shining! <laughs> Stop it! Come on. I think there may be a few gifts with your name on it. A few? I'll help you take some of these gifts to the front of the room. Um, about that. I don't think I want to teleport half of the gifts to the possibility of them ending up in Saddle Arabia. My magic is still a bit unstable. Oh right, I, I forgot about that. Uh, let me go get Cadence and Flurry to help you. Applejack! This is beautiful! Oh, shark sugar cube. I can't take all the credit. Rarity actually helped me with it. So I guess you could say it's from the both of us. Well, thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, darling. Think you could open mine next, Twilight? You're gonna love what I got the little- Ooh! Me next! <laughs> it's a giant teddy bear, Twilight! It's soft and large enough to sleep on so it feels like a cloud! Well, thank you, Pinky. Um, <laughs> what the hey, Rainbow? Hold your horses, your highness. Bam! A cloud steel mobile. How did you know how to put one together? Why do you sound so surprised? Because you hardly put things together yourself? I was saving her time! Thank you for throwing this shower for me, Starlight. It's no trouble, Twilight, but I wouldn't have had it all done if it wasn't for Pinky and the rest of our friends. 
At least you have everything you need for when the baby arrives. <laughs> we can't wait to be grandparents for the third time. A third time? Oh, Kane's in shining armor didn't tell you, dear? Right. I kind of forgot to mention this to you due to the excitement of your big day, and we didn't want to take away all the attention from you. But congratulations! You're an aunt for the second time. Oh, when did this happen? Y you know that's besides the point. Mmm, sure. And if you must know, she is being left in the care of Sunburst this evening. So, do you already have a name for the little one, Twilight? Of course, it's... Books! Twilight, you have millions of books here. Princess Celestia is just giving you the title Princess of Books. Also, that's a dull name to name your child. Pinky! What? It is! Twilight? Twilight, are you okay? I'll go get Discord. Hang on, Twy. <laughs> I think the baby is coming. It's okay, honey. It's all right. Just breathe. I'm right here. Twilight, what's wrong? All that a god of Rainbow Dash was Twilight, Discord, and Baby. I swear that Mare was rapid talking. More than Pinky. But those are the only words I could get out of her. That's because the baby is coming. I thought the baby wasn't due for another three months. Uh, I'm sorry. It's not my fault that the baby decided to come three months early. Jeez, she's even moody when she's in pain. Just get her to the hospital! Right, right. So, uh, do we just walk there? You know he forgot the bags, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hold on, Dash! Wait for us! Do you think she'll be okay? If there's one thing I know about Twilight, I know that she is one strong mare. She will be just fine. Twilight! Twilight! What in the question are they doing to her? Way to go, sister. You just worried them even more. Hey, I was only trying to give them words of encouragement. Does any pony know what time it is? Every pony is tired, and it's only 9 p.m., and I've already raised the moon. This waiting game is boring! <sighs> well, hopefully it won't be long. How can Daddy sleep through Auntie Twilight's screams? She sounds like she's screaming bloody murder in there! Honey? Your dad could sleep through your crying your lungs out when you were three, or even a meteor shower if one ever occurred, and he would still be knocked out. Your ponies can come see her now. Ow! D did she have the baby yet? Yes! Now come on, let's go meet the new little one. You are quite beautiful, my little one. You did great. <sighs> I know you will make a great ruler someday. <laughs> so, what are we going to name her? You girls can come in. So, is it a cult or filly? It's a filly. She's so precious. Can we have another one? We already have two daughters! Hey, it doesn't hurt to have just one more. <laughs> so she's practically Discord made over? Hey, I happen to be very charming. <laughs> Looks like your pinky sense was correct after all, Pinky. But I'm curious. How did you know that I was having a girl? And don't blame it on the pinky sense this time. Discord called the hospital and the doctor told them what the <laughs> What? Discord, remind me later to try not to kill you. So, what do you plan on naming the little deer? Or are we going to spend the whole hospital visit calling her names like Sweetie Pie, Darling, or worse, the baby? <laughs> Isn't that what 
what your mother said to us when Flurry was born? <laughs> yeah, exactly what Mom said. Oh, Twilight, dear. She's beautiful. She even has your main colors, Twily. Wait, you were gonna name me the baby? <laughs> well, sweetie, they eventually came up with your name. <laughs> Besides, they named you Flurry Heart to remember the occasion. Dad? Huh? Yeah! Besides, you caused a big snowstorm and put everypony in danger because you broke the crystal heart from the crystal empire, but nobody remembers that! Uh, Pinky, I think every pony remembers that. But your name is perfect the way it is, sweetie. <laughs> we were thinking of naming her Harmonia. Well, the name is perfect for the little one. Indeed. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Harmonia! So, Twilight, does that make me her cool dragon uncle? Aside from Shining being her biological one, of course. And does that make us her aunt's darling? Besides kids being her biological aunt. Well, every pony will be an important part in Harmonia's life as she discovers herself and goes through life's challenges. In the words of Applejack, family doesn't always mean blood nor can relations. So of course. <laughs> you got that right. Wait, did you just try to mimic my accent? Because I do not sound like that. Yeah, you do. However, I think I can do a much better AJ impression. You know, I don't even want to know. Can, can I hold Harmonia at Twilight? Sure, sweetie. She's so tiny. Hi, I'm your cousin Flurryheart, and I promise to always love you. better get going. We've been here all night, and from the looks of it, Luna's already out for the day, and Celestia's already raised the sun. Get some rest, Twilight. We'll see you later. Yeah, you guys could use the rest. Especially you, Twilight. Thank you, every pony, for being here. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. Well, you are just a sweet bundle of chaos. Would you like Daddy to sing you a lullaby? Dear Harmony, what do I say to you? You have my eyes, you have your mother's mane. When you came into this world, you cried and it broke my heart. I'm dedicating every day to you. Chaotic life was never quite my style when you smile. You knocked me out, I fell apart, and I thought I was so smart. You will come of age in Equestria's nation. I promise to protect you, we'll make it right for you. If Equestria has a strong foundation, We'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you and you'll blow us all away. One day, one day. Yeah, you'll blow us all away. One day, one day. Ooh, how many of you are my light and you're my world? My girl, look at my girl. Pride is not the world I'm looking for. There is so much more inside me now. Ooh, how many you outshine Celestia's sun. My girl, when you smile, I fall apart and I thought I was so smart. My father wasn't around. I swear that I'll be around for you. 
I'll make a million mistakes, but I'll do whatever it takes. I'll make Equestria safe for you. You come of age in Equestria's nation. I promise to protect you. We'll make it right for you. If Equestria has a strong foundation, we'll pass it on to you. We'll give the world to you when you blow us all the way. One day, one day. Yeah, you'll blow us all the way. One day, one day. Peekaboo, I see you, my little fuzzball. 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 Peekaboo. Peek reading Harmony the Sweet Children's Tale of a Cow Jumping Over the Moon. It's really interesting. It also talks about Christ and his perfect timing and patience. And that sounds like the Bible. We decided to mix up the reading genres a bit. Okay, Discord. She is only two months old. Her chaos powers couldn't get her that far. Gotcha! I'm coming up there! No need to. I'll come to you, dear. Where is Harmonia? Asleep. Huh. And weren't you just reading her in a nursery rhyming book? And then the Bible? And she fell asleep in knowing and understanding fantastic morals. Such as Yozo She, who, uh, trotted through the valley with the shadow of Little Red Apple Bloom and the Three Bears. She feared no evil because the three little pigs were not around. This is a Mexican cookbook. She can still learn from it. You lost her, didn't you? How do you manage to lose a two-month-old baby? Twilight, she has chaos powers in case you forgot. What happened this time? Well, we were playing peek a until I closed my eyes for like the fifth or sixth time and she vanished. She just vanished! <sighs> I'll go find her this time. Harmonia? Harmonia? Where could you have gone? Harmonia! Harmonia! Harmonia? I think I may have found what, or, uh, should I say who, you were looking for? Where did you find her? Oh, she was in my room. I had no idea why she ended up here. Well, thank you, Starlight. <laughs> no problem. You really gotta stop scaring Mommy like that, sweetie. Now come on. Let's go find your father. That's strange. First you, and now your father. What is it with this family and disappearing on me today? <laughs> 